Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to stack multiple images to create an image that has less noise and has more detail compared to a single exposure image. The idea here is that you take multiple images with the same camera settings in the exact same position and stacking them together to reduce noise. Because noise is random in each image, but the scene remains the same throughout, when you stack those images and create an average out of all of those images, the noise gets removed but the scene, which is constant, comes through and the veil of noise over the top of the scene is removed. I'm gonna be using Secator for this tutorial since I use Windows, but for Mac users, the equivalent application is Starry Landscape Stacker. As of now, Secator is a free software whereas Starry Landscape Stacker is a paid software. But what both programs do is that they stack the foreground and then with the sky, they line the stars and stack them separately and blend them back to the foreground. So it takes away a lot of the hard work. Alright, so here we have our images uploaded into the Lightroom already. So I already did the basic adjustments to speed up this video, but I suggest you don't do too much because it's better to stack the raw photos first. But doing a little bit of adjustments isn't too much of a doesn't make too much of a difference. So as for the detail tab, you have to keep the noise reduction at zero because we are not gonna do any noise reduction here. So as for the lens corrections, you have to leave this one alone because for some cameras, if you apply lens corrections and you stack the images, you will get some pattern noise. So it's best that you leave the lens corrections profile so that you won't get any funky patterns in your images. Now I'm gonna select all the images by hitting Control A, and I'm gonna choose and I'm gonna synchronize all those edits. Make sure you have all these things checked here and then choose synchronize once that's done I'm going to do file export so you basically want to export with no resizing no sharpening the image file format has to be in TIFF file format I shoot in sRGB you do not want any compression whatsoever then choose 16 bit to retain as much raw information as possible so long as your camera shoots at 16 bit now I'm gonna export these images into a specific folder called astrophotography but you can export this to whatever location that you want but I'm also gonna put it in a subfolder called sequator so once you have chosen your location choose export now after exporting the images from Adobe Lightroom open up sequator now on the left hand side here you can choose a base image which is the image that defines where the stars are in relationship to the landscape. Since the stars are constantly moving, your base image is what your stacked image will look like, like where you want your stars to be. But you don't necessarily have to pick a base image because if you throw in all your star images here, the software will automatically pick the middle image as the best image for stacking. Now to import all your images, you simply have to double click on this go to the location that you exported your images to and then choose all of your images you can either hit control A or like what I did here I simply selected the first image and I held down shift and then click the bottom most image and then click open when you're selected all of them Now as for the noise images, it's just another term for dark frames, which you can capture by putting the lens cap on your camera and taking exposures at the same camera settings as you did on your light frames. So as for the vignetting images, they are just another term for flat frames, which you can capture by using the white cloth method where you put a plain white cloth over your camera, pointing it to a bright source of light, and then taking pictures. It will create a vignetting profile of your images and cancel out any sort of vignetting in your stacked image in case it has vignetting. Now as for the output, you can double click on this and then pick a location to save your stacked image. I usually save my stacked image on the on my desktop. So I will call this stacked and hit enter. Also, as for the composition, make sure you have aligned stars checked if you don't want to have star trails. 
And also make sure that you have freeze ground enabled, uh, otherwise your foreground will look terrible. And make sure you also have selective kicked as well to remove aircrafts, meteors, or other unstable objects in the sky region. So as for the accumulation, you can check this if you want to accumulate your exposures and select best pixels if you wish to remove aircraft or other unstable objects or noises in your image. Now as for the sky region, if your image has a foreground, it should not be a full area. You have to select your sky by painting over your image. This is gonna take quite some time but if in case your image has more complicated patterns like leaves or a tree, you don't have to be super crazy about painting over the sky. Now to allow you to see where you painted the sky, you can just tick the auxiliary highlight here. And in that way, you'll be able to know what regions of sky you painted over and where you didn't. Now in case you make mistakes, just, just hold down right click and then paint over. Now, once you're done, you can either turn on auto brightness in to prevent overexposure, but in this case, I'm not going to do it. And then turn on high dynamic range if you want to put more a dynamic range in your image. And then in case you don't have noise images, you can turn remove dynamic noises on, which in this case, I will turn on. Now, I'm not going to enable reduce light pollution. And now, as for the rest of the settings here, I'm not going to enable them. Now, enhance starlight. Will, will enhance the stars in your stacked image. Now as for the merge 4 pixels, it simply takes 4 pixels and then combine them together to create a brighter image, but the resolution will be downsized to 1 fourth. Now as for the reduced distortion effects, you can leave this to auto or complex, which is suitable for ultra wide angle lens or irregular distortions, especially when you took your images using a DSLR, or, or tele if you took your images using through a telescope. But for this case, I'm not gonna enable this. Now the time lapse feature is where the software will make a series of stacked images that you can use to make a time lapse video. Now when you're done with all of this, you can now click the start button. Now this is gonna take quite some time depending on how fast your computer is. Alright so after Sequator has finished stacking all our images, import it to Adobe Lightroom by going to File, and then Import Photos and Videos. But I've already imported mine here so as to speed things up. So if we go to reference view, the image on the left by the way is our stacked image and the image on the right is our single exposure. So if we look at Jupiter here, as you can see on the stacked image, the noise has been significantly reduced while preserving detail, whereas here on the right hand side, which is a single exposure image, there's still a lot of noise everywhere. But say for example we take a single exposure and do software based noise reduction on this single exposure image. Say put noise reduction around 57 because that's where a lot of noise has been reduced in this particular image. As you can see, we lost a lot of detail and the stars became blurred out. And we zoom in. You can see how much detail has been lost in the Milky Way. And that's because software-based noise reduction looks for areas to smooth and smooth them out and end up losing detail. But if we reduce the software-based noise reduction a little bit in this particular image, if you wish to get more detail, then you will also have to endure with more noise. And it's just as easy as that guys. And it is scientifically the best way to remove noise from an image if you do not have a star tracker. If you like this video and like tutorials like this, don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe button so that you won't miss any future videos. And as always, dear skies, and see you again in the next video.